Hey everyone, it's Apostle Michelle Peterson. Thank you so much for joining me today. And I am going into uh, the love letter from God. Uh, this a message that the Lord gave me a while back. And I'm just going through each part, each section of this message and just talking about it. Um, like I said before, the Lord wanted me to talk about it. So I'm just going into a little bit more details about each part that he said, okay? Okay, so this part, uh, the Lord actually said here, he said, I want the people to know me. I honor those who honor me. I trust those who trust me. I will give you all things if you believe in me. Now, how powerful is this? I want the people to know me. Okay, this is, this is the reason why the Lord has me doing what I do in ministry is teaching about him, teaching about his character, teaching about his ways, um, him sharing this type of stuff with me to share with you, you guys. Um, this is what he has called me to do because he wants the people to know him. He wants the people to understand him. This is his heart. This is his passion. And we all want people to understand us. Like, how bad does it feel when people misunderstand you? You're trying to explain yourself and everyone gets it wrong. It doesn't, you know, you're trying to, you know, help people to understand what you feel, um, what you're saying, but it's like they're taking it wrong, you know? And so the Lord wants us to understand and know him also. So we don't take him wrong. We don't misunderstand him and think he's doing something in our lives and that's not him. Um, or think that he wants us to do certain things and that's not him. Um, you know, he, if we understand him and we know him, then we'll know when certain things are going on in our life or we're doing certain things, we'll be able to know that's not God. <laughs> you know, that's not who God is. I mean, really, really know him, not our own opinions of who God is. But God wants us to know him, to know him so we can understand him and understand his ways and the way he does things in his character. He's not going to do anything outside of his character. OK, then the next part, he says, I honor those who honor me. Now, how great is that? If you honor God in your everyday life, everything you do, in your life, even the things that you do behind closed doors where nobody sees, God will honor you. Now, think about it. God, the God of all creation, the one that created everything that you can see that exists, will honor you. Just think about how high, you know, that honor will be. You know, but the Lord's saying here, I honor those who honor me. So start trying to honor God in everything you do in your life. You know, stuff that you're watching on TV, turn it off. If it's not honoring God, turn it off. The music you're listening to on the radio, turn it off. Trust me, if everything you are doing in your life, you are doing because you want to honor God, this is what he's saying. He will honor you. I mean, it could be little, it can be something small. It could be Okay, Lord, today I'm not going to get on Facebook. I'm going to shut Facebook down. I just want to do this because I want to honor you today. The Lord is going to receive that. You're doing that to honor Him. Not that Facebook is a bad thing. Not that Facebook is a good thing. It's just something that you're doing because you want to honor Him. So you can do things to honor God. And also, you want to, you want to stay away from things that don't honor God. Okay, you don't want to participate in things that is totally like abomination to God. Like, like I, I was just talking to someone the other day. They took their, you know, child to see a movie that was about witchcraft. You know, I, I understand witchcraft and all that stuff, you know, vampires and all this demonic stuff. That's popular. That's what's hot right now. But this type of stuff is abomination to the Lord. I mean, people that dealt in that type of stuff in the Bible, they were killed. I mean, we, could, we can't fellowship with those type of people. But we're participating, paying money, 
you know, watching this stuff, supporting it with our money that we make and we pay tithes on it and we support occult stuff at the same time. We're going to see these movies, we're watching these movies, taking our children to see these movies that are abominations to God. And you may say, okay, well, you got to have a balance. Everything can't be about God. We have to be of the world too. Whatever the world is doing, we have to participate in it. That is a lie. You don't have to watch witchcraft movies. You don't have to watch demonic stuff. You don't have to listen to that stuff, you guys. But this is what I'm saying. When you're honoring God in the stuff that you're watching on TV and listening to, you're thinking about, okay, is God pleased with witchcraft? No, he's not. That's accessing the spiritual realm without God. See, Christians, we can access the spiritual realm, but we access the spiritual realm with God. Okay? People who don't believe in God, they, they don't have a relationship with God through Jesus, they access it differently. They can access it, but they're accessing it without God. That's illegal. That's accessing the spiritual realm illegally. You can do it legally, but everything has to be with God. So, we definitely want to honor God in everything we do because He will honor you. If you honor Him in everything you do on your job, the way you talk about people on your job, if you start thinking about, okay, well, I'm not going to talk about this person because I want to honor God in my conversation. I want my conversation to be pleasing to God. So, God, help me honor you in my conversation whenever I'm talking about people. Help me honor you in my conversation the way I act towards people. Help me honor you in my conversation the way I treat people. He'll help you because you want to do it. You want to honor him. It's a desire. It's a passion for you. If you have that desire, you have that passion, and you ask God to help you, he will. You just got to ask him. Don't try to do it on your own. It's hard when we try to do stuff without God. We may have the best intentions, we want to love our enemies, we want to forgive people, we want to do all of this stuff, you know, that God, that pleases God. But we're just doing it in our own strength. We're not asking God to help us to do it. But if you ask Him to help you, He will help you and you can do it with Him helping you. All things is possible with God helping you. Amen? Amen. Okay, so the next part of this uh, message that the Lord said is, I will give you all things if you believe in me. If you believe in me. Now, how does this part make you feel? Like with me, this excites me because God is saying all things, all things. And, and we may say, well, all things doesn't have to do with natural things, but we already have everything when we get to heaven. So, you know, that's, that's not what he's talking about. He's saying all things while you are here on earth. This is our life here on earth. This is um, the life that Jesus was talking about, abundant living. And, you know, Jesus talked about, you know, what the Lord is saying here. He talked about, um, ask the Father anything in my name and he will do it. <laughs> Anything, anything, God. But he's saying here, I will give you all things if you believe in me. There is a condition to it, though. This is one of those promises that has a condition. This is what I teach in my school of the prophets um, that the Lord taught me that there's prophetic words that, you know, don't have a requirement. They don't have a condition. Okay. You know, if the Lord says, I'm going to bless you and he doesn't say anything else that prophetic word is going to come to pass because there's no uh, conditions attached to it. But he, if he says, I'm going to bless you if you obey me. Now, that prophetic word with him blessing you is only tied to if you obey him. If you don't obey him, you won't be blessed. If you obey him, you will be blessed. You see what I'm saying? So here, giving you all things is attached to something. He says, I will give you all things if you Believe in me. Believe in me. So if we are at the place where we're having problems believing in God, trusting God for things, trusting God for our healing, uh, trusting God to financially take care of us, trusting God for that mate, trusting God to take care of your children, um, trusting God, you know, in whatever the situation is. If you're at the place where you're having a tough time trusting and believing in him, 
ask him to help you in this area. You know, ask him to like that can be your. I mean, I, that can be your goal for the whole year. Um, give yourself time in all of these things. Don't try to you know try to think that you can walk in these things in one day because the enemy is going to come and he's going to put you in situations that are going to you know make you test you to see if you're going to trust God in that situation. So give yourself a time period and ask God, ask the Lord for a whole year to help you trust him and believe in him every day in all the situations you're in. Ask him to help you believe him that day. When you wake up in the morning, that'll be a good prayer. You know, Heavenly Father, I invite you into my day. I ask that you be a part of my day. Lord Jesus, I invite you into my day. I ask that you be a part of my day. Holy Spirit, I welcome you. I ask that you be a part of my day. And Father, I ask that you help me to believe and trust you in every situation, every obstacle, everything that I encounter today. I ask that you help me to believe in you today. You can say that prayer. You can make that commitment um, for a whole year. Ask the Lord to help you. And then you'll start walking to this. I mean, if you can ask the Lord to help you out with this for a whole year, you'll see some serious change. But this is what the Lord is saying. I will give you all things if you believe in me. Okay, you guys. So that was the last part of uh, this part of the message of this part of the letter. And I hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope you guys can take these things. This is God's heart. This is his heart. And actually, the stuff that I was telling you, um, what he desires about the honor, apply that to your life. Honor him in everything, especially the stuff that you do behind closed doors that no one knows about. Know that God is watching. And if you, you're thinking so much about God and honoring him that even behind closed doors, you're concerned about the stuff that you're doing behind closed doors if that stuff is honoring God. You are on your way to honoring him in everything that you do. So be conscious of it. You know, try to change that mindset and you'll be able to do that. Okay? And here the Lord says he wants the people, he wants you guys to know him. He wants all his people to know him. And so learn about God, study about God. Like I, like I tell people, you know, read the Bible, but find things about God that talks about him. Um, we hear a lot of the stories about everyone else, but... Let's find stories that talk about God and study Him. You know, when you're reading a part about Him, when He's talking, see what He's saying. See what He means. Study Him. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next video. God bless.